man, that kitchen is coming along. That kitchen was a disaster just a couple days ago, and now they're finally getting it done. But what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. We're actually heading up to the view right now. I got my brother with me. He wants me to go get some shots with him. So I said I'd take him up there and get some shots of him on that graffiti wall like I did yesterday. Pet stop one wants to get a polar pop. I just got a call from Malcolm and he wants to go to Venice Beach. So we're not going up to the view anymore. I got my brother though. And me and him are gonna mob out to Venice with Malcolm and his sister and I think his sister's friend. Did it tight. So we were ended up going to Santa Monica and then we changed our mind halfway through and we ended up in Hollywood So right now we're at Hollywood you guys saw a couple clips of the Hollywood sign and the CNN building and stuff like that We're actually out here to do the tour for the LA film school. How was the drive Malcolm? It was, dope. Fun. It was a long drive my back started to hurt. It was like an hour and 30 minutes the vlog from yesterday, he buys Nike Air Force Ones and he thinks he's black. Like, what, what were the shoes called? Alright, they're Karachi. Oh, yeah. Something I realized is that there's a lot of Uber drivers out here. Like in Temecula, there's a couple of Uber drivers, but like every other car out here drives for Uber. And they don't really know how to drive. A couple of Uber drivers almost hit us on the way down here. This is Hollywood for you, man. Like, it's nice and now, but look at this, man. That's real Hollywood stuff, man. People don't make that shit up. Like, there's people out here actually homeless sleeping on that busy street next to a jack-in-the-box, man. So if you're doing good in life, you got a roof over your head and clothes on your back, don't take that shit for granted because some people are out here sleeping on the streets, you know what I mean? A lot of people complain they don't have that nice car or that new shirt or that new hat, but there's people out here that literally don't have nothing, that wear the same outfit for weeks, begging change for clothes and stuff like that. But other than that, that's some serious stuff. Look at this old Porsche, man. And if at the end of 30 days you're like Eric and Matt, okay. I get so, connections, I, I've always found them. You know what I mean? I've, I've been heavily involved in the wrestling world for the past 10 years of my life. That's what I've been doing. Right, I remember. This is the first year that I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, I run camps, I go to Colorado, I go to Oregon, yeah. I go to other places, I travel a lot. And now I want to switch that to something I think that's useful. All right, so we just got done talking to Erica and what she was doing. She's just going through a run through of what the school has to offer and our plans for after, how long the program is, stuff like that. Just more behind the scene kind of stuff. Right now we're going on a tour. Gary's going to show us the school. He's going to show us the green screen room, a couple of editing stuff, rooms, studio, stuff like that. And so we're just going to take you guys along with me. And then after that, we're going to see, see what the game plan is. So we're still playing around a little bit. Shoot, and you would have all these LED lights, and you learn how to basically create a shadowless environment for the camera on the person, on the object, or the green screen itself. So once you shoot that, then that footage goes back into a software program. And then you're using either programs like After Effects or Nuke to basically replace that background. Now we also have to understand camera coverage. A person scene or a three person scene, we need to understand just for like one person, covering one person, we need a wide shot, we need close up, close up, extreme close up. If it's an emotional scene, that's just for one person, we need to do it uh, to the other person as well, using one camera at a time. That's how it usually really is person picking up maybe a gun or a particular object. We also need to light and uh, set up the camera just for them picking up that object. Those are called pickup shots. So you need to understand camera coverage to visually tell your story correctly. Dude, so we're at this LA film school and it's pretty amazing, man. I haven't even done any paperwork and I already want to go. They're just super helpful. They have answers to all your questions. So if you guys are looking for a school, LA film school is where it's at. Alright, so now he just walked us into another building and he's going to show us a larger set. So that last clip was you guys watching a smaller set of just living room. So now he's going to show us another larger set, which I don't know what it is. We're about to find out right now. So all these movies here were actually shot here. All these movies you guys see here were actually screened here at the LA Film School. And they actually show them here on the screen. RSVP ticket and you can watch these movies here that were screened. All right, so we just got to the largest set that they have here at the LA Film School. I'm gonna show you guys this. So this is the largest film they have. It's kind of like a jungle scene, if you will. 
it's pretty cool. And then you come over here and you got a house scene over here, dining room table, and then also upstairs too. So you can shoot a lot of custom stuff here, which is pretty cool. I like this one a lot better than the small set. Um, it just gives you an idea of what you can shoot here at the LA Film School even. All right, Malcolm, what were your thoughts on the uh, LA Film School? LA Film School is pretty dope, and I'm probably gonna attend the LA Film School. Yeah, no, Thanks, you think so? Why not? All right, it looks like we might do it. If we do, we're gonna move out to Hollywood though, right? We're, we're gonna commute for now. Commute yeah. for now? Yeah. All right, we just got done at the LA Film School. It was so much fun. They showed us a lot. They showed us a couple sets and what they have to offer and you get your own computer and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun, so I can't wait to get started. To the car right now, and then we're going to Roscoe's. I've never been there, so Malcolm said I'm gonna get my black card. I guess they sell chicken and waffles, and last time I checked, white people don't eat chicken and waffles. I wanna go kick it over at Venice Beach. I've never been to Venice Beach either, so I'm gonna go check out Venice Beach. Hopefully we get there in time, so it's not too dark, not too cold, so we still get some footage of you guys. We just got to Roscoe's house of chicken and waffles. I've never been here, so I'm excited to go inside and see what they have to offer. First look at the menu. I've never been here before. I'm excited to see what they have. Can I get you guys anything else? Let's go. Our food came out. I'll let you guys know what I think after. I'm not gonna lie, that was the best food I've ever had in my entire life. Chicken and waffles is the place to go. You guys have never been to chicken and waffles, you guys need to go. Roscoe chicken waffles in LA, it's the best food we've ever had. Alright, we just got back to the car, now we're heading over to Venice Beach for a little bit. But uh, overall, Roscoe's was pretty good, I love the food there. Chicken and waffles is definitely the way to go. Alright, update like always, change of plans like always. We ended up at Santa Monica Pier Santa with Monica Malcolm Pier. because yeah. Malcolm can't make up his mind. Hey, hey. Nah, hey, last time hey, I was here was hey. my senior year Knock it off. of high school. <laughs> Malcolm, you're messing up the shot, dude. <laughs> Fucking asshole. So I've lived in California my entire life and I've only been for a handful of times, one during the day and right now at night time, so I've actually never seen this thing lit up. And I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty cool. Lights look super pretty and I, um, I kind of like it. Thank you.